I was raised in New York City and my family got my siblings and I into go-karts when I was 10 years old and they were really influential in helping me discover my passion for racing. When I was 13 years old I transitioned from go-karts to racing cars and then when I was 14 I won my first championship in race cars and it gave me the confidence I needed to know that I was champion material. I always knew that I wanted to go to college and that I wanted to split my time between racing and college and when I was looking at where I wanted to go, Stanford was so cool because it was doing a lot of work with green energy and I was interested about how that applied to the racing industry. Luckily I got in and I was able to pursue a major which was science, technology and society that allowed me to learn about a lot of different subjects that still come back and help me with my racing career today. One thing I realized recently is that I didn't hear a lot of women being proud of being winners or being proud of liking winning. And that is what we all go do when we're athletes and when we are trying to you know, be the champions. Girls aren't encouraged to do that. If we can one by one try to break that and normalize women and girls being proud of themselves, I think that's huge for the overall movement. A few years ago I started giving motivational talks and I really loved that I could get on stage and tell my stories and be vulnerable with an audience and still inspire them. And I really enjoy advocating for women in STEM and to encourage girls to pursue those subjects as best they can. Any STEM field is relatable to any project you want to do and so feeling that we are empowering girls to take ownership of every aspect of a project they're interested in and then being able to execute is really great. A lot of people ask me if I'm scared to go racing and the short answer is yes, but it is so exhilarating to push past the fear or to use fear to let you know that you're engaged. If it's both terrifying and amazing, then you should definitely pursue it. I think it's very special that I can serve as a role model to others. Being able to inspire younger girls, younger people to be okay with being afraid and still pushing through that, I think is so powerful because a lot of things in life are scary, but they're also so worthwhile to pursue. I would describe my fashion style as being edgy and sporty and sophisticated and elegant. I like to tap into my New York roots that I was raised with, but I also like to accentuate that I am an extreme athlete and finding a style that caters to all of that while also being comfortable and accessible and relatable to others is really important to me. I hope my legacy will be that of someone who went after her dreams, who sought out great people to work with, and who hopefully wins at every level of racing, but also to inspire others and to give back to my community in a way that's impactful and meaningful.